my Creekside friends. This is Miss Boo. Hope you guys are all doing well. So here's a really cute project for my uh, TK and Kinder friends. It's this really adorable little caterpillar sitting on a branch or actually walking along a branch. Um, and again, you're just using basic supplies that you may have at home. Um, and I'm going to go over the supplies right now. So you're going to need um, two sheets of white paper, either construction paper or printer paper. Uh, but you can definitely need two sheets. You're going to need a glue stick, scissors, pencil, crayons. So I have yellow, red, blue, green, orange, purple, um, and brown. Okay, those are the colors that we're going to be using. If you have markers, you can use markers too. Those are going to be for the, um, you can use those for the antennas, the face and the legs okay but that's an option you don't have to use them if you don't have them okay and also anything that you have at home that's round I've got these random little cups that I like to save um, of different sizes and I have some of these here too so anything that you have round you can even use well it's probably a little too small but um, you can certainly you know find some round cups at home again check with your parents first before you do all right so what we're going to do is kind of talk about the project itself. So as you can see, these are circles for the body of the caterpillar. So we're going to use the cups to actually trace out to make those circles. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is actually uh, create the uh, texture and the colors of the, um, the caterpillar. So you can see I've used cool colors for the caterpillar's body, which are blue, green, and purple. So those are the crayons we're going to be using for that, okay? Now, to you make that, you're going to use one of your sheets of paper, okay? And you're going to color the, color the whole entire sheet in the blue, green, and purple crayons, okay? So what I just basically just color the whole entire sheet in different angles and different directions, um, covering as much as you can. I did green first, then I went with blue, and then um, some purple, okay? I wanted the green to be the main color, so I used a lot of green first, all right? And once you've done that, then you are going to get your circle shape, whatever cup you may have or container. You could use a lid of a, um, a plastic uh, container or a jar, okay? And then I went ahead and traced out six circles after I finished coloring in the paper. So I'm gonna carefully just trace around, okay? Six times. Now, if you're circle um, size is smaller you can certainly add more circles if you want to to your paper try to fill up as much as you can okay because the more circles you have the better your caterpillar is going to look so um, for my uh, cup size i could fit six and six is about a, a, a good number of um, circles for the body of the caterpillar okay you don't want to do like three or four so once you've done that then you're going to get your scissors and you're going to carefully cut around them they don't have to be perfect uh, circle shapes okay as long as they look kind of circular you're fine okay and then when you've done that I actually have my circles here so I've got one two three four five six six of my circles all right now I'm ready to glue them onto my other white piece of paper so let me just get that so my second piece of white paper I'm going to position my circles to create the body of the caterpillar okay you don't want to glue them down right away you want to kind of you know play around with where you want to actually position them so I kind of want to have a little bit of a, um, a like a hump right here because usually when caterpillars walk they kind of have that little wavy kind of shape to their body so I think I'm good with that you know make sure it all fits on your paper okay now if you have smaller circles then you may want to kind of squeeze the um, pieces together a little bit more, a little bit more tight so you can fit all of them in there, okay? But the size that I have, um, I will space them out so it looks like it's all filling up that area, okay? The once you've done that, then we are going to glue them onto our paper, okay? So I'm going to start off by doing, let's see, let's move these out the way a little bit. I'm going to glue them down. Okay, you're going to apply, you can either apply glue to the paper or the actual circles themselves, okay? And I'm going to do this a little bit faster. But you want to take extra care to make sure you glue down around the edges. Okay, so we have that. Make 
because you don't really want these little flappy edges. So you want to make sure that they do it nice and flat so it don't fall off. I'm sure you can see that. All right, so I'm going to put it like this. And you can see I've overlapped them. You definitely want to make sure you overlap it so it looks like it's all one body. Otherwise, if you have little gaps in between, it'll look like it's two separate parts of the body. Okay. Like so. And then my last one. And I'm going to put that right down over here. Okay. So there we go. So you've got a little bit of a hump right here, and then it comes down like that. All right. So now I am going to um, make my tree trunk, okay, or the branch that is actually walking along. So what I'm going to do first, before I add any more details to my caterpillar, I'm going to draw kind of a line just underneath the caterpillar's body. You can make it go all the way across like that. And then another one like this in the bottom. And then I'm going to color that in. Okay, so you want to obviously have the caterpillar walking on something, otherwise it'll look like it's just walking in the air. No, we don't want that. They'll only start flying once they turn into a butterfly. But right now they're caterpillars, so they have to walk on land. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of shading right here. I like to do a little bit dark on the top just to give it more of a shadow. There we go. It is nicely done. So now we have our branch. Okay. Then you can get your Sharpie. Okay. You can use any color you want. I'm going to use, um, actually, I'm going to use brown for the legs. And so I'm going to make, like, this one's going to be the head. So you don't want to add any legs to that part. Okay. You want to add legs to, to the other five or whatever other number of circles you have. So I'm going to do, like, a little letter L shape for the feet. Okay. I'm going to do that, like so, okay, so it looks like it's actually kind of jumping on that, but you can make those a little bit longer so they're actually touching the, um, the, uh, the, the tree branch, okay, so now we're going to add details to the caterpillar, I'm going to add two little eyes, like so, I'm going to color them in a little bit and just give it a little bit of a, a little sparkle in its eye, okay, so you can make your eyes however you want. And it's going to have a smile, okay. And then you can make your little antennas at the top. You see that? One, and one like that. So basically, I just went up and then curved it around. So the curls actually go in opposite directions. And then at the top, usually caterpillars have this little fuzzy kind of um, furry um, coating on their body. So I'm going to use a little bit of yellow. I'm going to actually use some of the warm colors on the top. Like we use the cool colors on the, um, the main body. So I'm just using tiny little kind of like lines, creating little lines all the way along. Just flicking the little wrist like so. And add a little bit of orange to that. Okay, on my finished example, I actually use a little bit of Sharpie, but on this one, I think I'm just going to use crayons. So I did yellow. I'm doing a little bit of orange and then probably a little bit of red too. So you've got the warm colors up here, maybe just in some areas. There we go. Okay. And there we have our cute little caterpillar. Okay. Now, if you want, you can color the sky in blue if you want to, or if you want to make a little sun or add some birds to the background, you can certainly do that. All right. Well, I hope you have fun making this project and um, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.